the way I'm able to solve problems and, and just create on the go with pump, like I'm making hits in bedroom studios with $200 microphones. I know what's important and what's not. Like when it's time to get shit done, you gotta just do it with what you got. That goes hand in hand with my success as a producer is just because I have a certain kind of mindset to just be able to figure shit out and get it done. A lot of things in life, it's like you either got it or you don't. Like you can't be taught the hustle. You just gotta know how to make it happen. Craziest place I ever recorded was on private jet flying to Norway with pump. There's a lot of challenges when recording on tour. The environments are noisy and the setup time has to be reduced to a minute or less. No matter where I end up, I'm always searching for the quiet little corner in a room where I could set up. Um, so that's the challenge and being able to set up and break down quickly. If we got you know 30 minutes before a show and people want to record, I got to be able to set up in a minute, record for 20, 30 minutes and break it down in a minute. I got to have with the best possible gear to get the best possible sound, but it also has to be very portable. I have to be able to carry it and have it with me everywhere I go, whether it be a, a dressing room, the green room, back of a tour bus or a hotel, like I need to set up in like really a minute or less so I could capture the magic right when it's happening. Me and Pump got a lot of stuff in the works, I'm working with some Chicago artists, Band Man Cavo and Rico Reckless. Working with Juice World, we got some records with him in the vault. Designer's working on an album, got some records with him. The Baby is working on an album and uh, working with him as well. Smoke Perp, got some records with Chief Keefing recently too. Besides the Chicago artists, when I'm home in Chicago, I work in my studio, but everyone else, I pull up with the portable studio and I'll work wherever we're at. Like, it's a lot of gear that you need to get the studio quality, high fidelity sound. So I'm constantly searching for ways to downsize my portable rig and still maintain that level of quality. So today, I have a little present for you. This is the Antelope Audio Edge Go. This is like the first high-end USB mic uh, to really hit the market and it's mic mobbing as well. So here you go. Like, no, no, this is built right. Like you can, yeah. you can build a. Now, just, just, you can build shit just with this. sidebar, like a like fifty-seven. Antelope, like Antelope, they put their money into their products. I mean, that's important to me. I need something that's gonna be durable. Yeah, really cool shock mount for this one, um, and and the inside also comes. Whoa! With, yeah, there you go. It comes with its own stand, right? No way! This All right, yeah. that's the that seals the deal right there. Here we go. Let's throw this guy on. There we go, voice Nice. Yeah. That was quick, easy. This is the actual mic modeling. It's on the U87. Check, 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 check. So now, so, so now it's standard on the edge go. Check, check, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Let's go add in a vintage compressor. The 76, yeah. All right. Check, check. That sounds just like it. Yeah and we can actually come in post-production in our editing mixing process and actually change what those polar patterns would sound like on the microphone. That seems like it's impossible, like wow. First impressions for you? I, I love it, this is crazy. It seems like it's really nice and tough, like you mm -hmm. could take a beating, I could take it on the road. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy that we had the whole studio set up. Yes. Here, just a mic and a computer interface is built in. Mm -hmm. Um, that's incredible, and it's always been possible, but at this quality, it's it's insane. Yeah. Here you go, to CB. Oh wow! Thank you very much. The edge go, man. So I appreciate you much, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Anytime. With the edge go, I believe I'm gonna be able to start recording and creating in under 30 seconds. I literally just open up the MacBook and plug in the mic, plug in your headphones, and you're ready to go. Like I can't. Imagine it getting any faster than that. I'm always trying to streamline the process of creating on the road, and I think with Edge Go, it's just gonna be perfect. Well, my initial thought was like, wow, finally someone designed and built something that I always thought should have been out there. There's never been like a high quality USB microphone. At first, it was, seemed too good to be true, and then when I actually got to hold it and try it out, I was like, yep, this is it. It's really like dozens of microphones in one, and with the preamps and compressors that they have built in, like it's almost like the whole studio in one. All you need is a laptop and the mic and you're good to go. This is CB Mix and I'm about to go real with Edge Go.